So this is the next video. I'm going to be putting the main bearings in there. I've just let that crank seal in. Just to see where how far it goes when I, I can watch the video back. And there's the other crank seal. The main bearings out. And that crank seal just sits flush with the casing. I've got the big bearing out the back. And in the last video I thought this was a another seal, but it's part of the bearing. But I've ordered that bearing, I've ordered that seal, and I've ordered the kickstart seal, which goes in the other casing upstairs. So I'm going to put them bearings in the freezer for an hour now. Mm. The bearings have been in the freezer an hour now. So I'm just going to pop these two crank seals out. the crank seal out of that one the crank seal out of that one so we'll heat both these up now the bearings are froze so they'll be sh shrunk and when you heat these up it opens it so the bearings can just tap straight in just remember to not put the seals in yet because we've got to heat these casings up and you melt the seals there's one crank seal there's the other there's the bearing just out the freezer so we're just going to heat that up now and then tap the bearing in so that's that one in There's the bearing. I'll just heat that case up. Here to see it now. So that's that one, and all seated. You just heard the noise change at the end. That's when it's seated. So that's that one in. I've just done sanding the wheels. One's been done. This bearing come today, which is that one, which is this one here, and that's it there. There's the old one. I'm just waiting on that seal, but that will be here probably tomorrow. I've got that bearing there, got that bearing to go into here, but I kind of bang on now late. So we've got the bearing goes in there and then when that seal goes it comes that seal goes in there I don't know if it goes in that way or that way I'll have a look at the videos I'm sure it went in that way and that's the wheel there oh, being it up in that then the proper Honda Gold what it should be if you've seen them before they were white Turn the torch off, see if you can see better. Got a little dent there, but that won't matter. And the run's on getting painted now. So that's another job out of the way. And I'm just done stripping the exhaust down. Got all that black paint off. I'll find all that down so it's smooth at the front where the rust is. I forgot to get the front brake off as well to be painted. So I'm going to take everything off. Get that cable off. Get the brake arm off. See there, that's how you set them. There's a notch there. 
I'll scrape this black paint off and there'll be a notch on here where they both line up. Okay. That's all that off. The cable's off. I scrape that paint off there. And that's you can see the markings now. You can see the marking on that bit. That lines up with that on the brake brake arms. So anyway, we'll be getting all the paint off this. You can see the gold inside, somebody's painted black. Get all the paint off this. Then get this painted. I'll take this brake arm off as well. See what colour that's meant to be. Let's break arm off. Bolts down there. I'll find the nut and put it back in. But that was behind it. So I just thought I'd put this in the video. Let's see if there's anything else in any of it. But it's like some sort of washer or spacer. Looks like it's got a plastic seal on any of it. Sponge seal, and that's a little wash off. On looking closely, you can see a pointer. That spongy thing was in there. I'll check what goes in there, see if it's a gasket or one of those spongy things. But there's a pointer there, so maybe it's that. When it goes on, them two pointers line like that. So that's the black paint scraped off that. That's been cleaned. They've all been in the ultrasonic cleaner. Got that little washer. Scrape the black paint off that. Get the rest off and I'll sand it down. So now I'm going to put the bearing in there. That sits all the way in there. So just going to heat this casing up. There's a bearing there. It's been the freezer for longer than an hour so it'll go straight in that's the bearing in the gap now Heat it seat the seat there at the bottom. Hear the change of the hammer just there, so that's that in. I'm just waiting for the seal coming now to go into there. That's the bearing seated on that side. So now that I've got that bearing in the back, we can put the front end on of the engine in this side casing the chain and that but before I put the seals in I'm going to scrape this old gasket off here and here just in case any little bit drop down into the seals and then once the black's off we'll put the crank seals into this case and the other cases up there you cannot see it so we'll scrape this black gasket off now anyway around here and that so that's all the black gasket off and I'll put one of the crank seals into this side. And I've just went to put the crank seals in. You see the 24 at the top, that's the inside diameter. The 6 is the width. I can't find the other seal. The other seal hasn't even got no numbers on. But that's just exactly the same as this, doesn't fit. It's just lying around here somewhere. But no. Look at play. So that's another wait for more parts. I'll put the picture up what size it should be. I'm gonna have to order from folders. So I'm just gonna pull the crank through. I'll just put the crank seal in when it comes. So that's the crank puller. And we've got the big fingers. Just remember to have the con rod up there. Remember 
we'll just turn the nut on the end of this and it'll pull the crank in. So now I'm going to pull the top off on and just put the gasket on. Just put a little bit of lube in that bearing and we'll get this on. So it goes like that and you can see the gasket's moved. So the best thing to do is put the screws through so the screws go through the gasket then into this casing and then the gasket's kept steady. But this has just come, I don't know if I've showed it in another video, and, and I got that for £29.60 off eBay, which is good because it's brand new, and it's a lot cheaper than the proper one, so just put that back in the bag. That's a break done as well with the arm on, look closely, I'll try and zoom in. You see that notch there on the right and that notch there on the left part here just past me from that's how you line them up so now we'll just get this on i'm just going to go up and polish it i've got the four bolts down there to make you can see them that's in there one of them's got the bracket on which it fits on that one, but I'll have to check. So we'll go clean that. So we'll just put the reeds on that way. They go that way with the two squares facing up. And then we've got that to go on. That just faces forward. Go to the front of the engine. So that's that on the brackets on this side for the cable from the magneto but it might need to go on that side but i'm easy swap them over now we'll get the oil pump on and there's the oil pump it wasn't rigged up on it that's what drives it there and that bit drives off the crankshaft but if you look up there right at the very top on the left hand side you can just see a see a little wheel with splines on looks like threads yeah that's what that's what runs the oil pump off that off that part that just slots in there like that that's it when it's in the crank's running that and it's turning the top bit and it is that bit there is bent down a touch the cable will only go to there and it's hitting that metal bit of casing so i'll see if i can bend that up and that's it bend up now goes all the way around i might have bended that up a bit too much but i'm sure i'll push that bit back down just so the cable will fit in there now as well and it'll move. Got the bracket. Goes on that way. Is the bolt on the back. And that's how the bracket goes. Goes on there, it slots on there before you put the pump in. Get in, just, just turn the crank. That's it 
then I was just wondering there with this being Ali and that being Ali what use would this what use would this be if it was rubber it would tighten it up but that's when it's when I've looked in the the clip has to come over the top of the oil pump there and it keeps the oil pump down and on these that red pipe you fill them up with two stroke up near the, the petrol tank right up the top and it comes down the tube and it fixes down near the, the foot peg at the bottom and that pumps out and attaches to the carb but as I said in the other video it's got an old screw in so they've been pre-mixing it but I think that's going to be this for this video because the crank seals I've had order from Honda and they weren't in stock so they'll be a while the back seal for that the back seal for that is from Honda as well and that's not in stock and the vacation the kickstart seal I've ordered as well so you can't even get nothing in there because of the crank seals really but anyway that's what it's how far I'm up to on this video. Thanks for watching.